guys welcome back to a new vlog so today the plan i've got this bright red vest and i'm actually really enjoying it. i used to wear red like all the time i used to really love red but they haven't worn it in ages so yeah i've got on this little vest from urban outfitters and this gorgeous little scrunchie that my step grandma made me so pretty and um, but i'm going to show you some deliveries later that i've got recently because i've got some pretty things to show you but anyway beside the point today we are going to go on a long walk around a lake and then we're going to go to wilco's we are going to go to m&s food hall as well because i'm really missing m&s i have not been since i was living in london so yeah we're going to go get some yummy food from m&s just have a nice sunny day the weather is so gorgeous so very excited for a walk um and yeah this is from urban outfitters i've got jeans from zara i've got a whole haul coming soon but i need to film it um but before i film that i need to get a new mirror and i need to fake tan so yeah hopefully i will film it in the next few days for you um yeah i'm gonna go now me and jordan are gonna go on a walk and i will speak to you later Mwah. from a little shopping trip it was very nice um we didn't get a mirror because the wilco queue was so long so we're going to try another wilco later um and it was really busy where we went and we just felt a bit like uncomfortable being in such a busy area so we left there and we're going to try another wilco i'm going to show you what i got from m s because i got some yummy bits so i got this smoky chipotle salsa and it smells amazing it smells like actual just pure pangness so we got this i think i'm gonna have this with some crisps or something or with um i want to make tacos so i might with that and then i got this which is truffle mayonnaise is it gonna focus 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 yeah and i just feel like a bougie bitch getting this you know so i got some truffle mayonnaise for chips it's gonna be so yummy i don't think this was too expensive either i think it was two pounds something jordan how much is the truffle mayonnaise £2.50. this was two pounds fifty so it's not too bad and then i got post pigs because Pace picks are my favourite sweets in the world and I've missed them so much so I got the fizzy ones because they are the best. I got these soba organic Japanese semi whole wheat noodles because I really want to try these for ages. I don't know if this is the actual right ones that I wanted to try but I know there's some really nice Japanese noodles that look yummy. So I got these but anyway, they weren't too expensive. I got some nacho cheese tortillas to go with the um, chipotle, 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 is that how you say it? Chipotle. Is it Chipotle? <laughs> How'd you say Chipotle? I <laughs> Chipotle? Chipotle? Yeah, to go with that sauce. And then lastly, I got this Biomel Love Your Gut um, dark chocolate drink. And it's um, one of those ones that has loads of live cultures in it. So it's really good for your gut. And that is my little M&S haul. It costs like £9, which is expensive for all of that. So I didn't go too overboard just because poor. <laughs> Now I can actually DIY it properly. I think I'm going to paint it white, I've decided. Only 20 quid and I need to take off the cling film, but this actual mirror is really good for 20 quid. So yeah, I went to Wilco's, got this, and now I'm going to have a prawn salad for lunch. It's a very late lunch, um, but I'm starving. I was kind of thinking of just skipping it till tea, but I'm really hungry. So I'm just going to have a prawn salad with quinoa and rice. <laughs> hop on and show you a few deliveries that i've got recently um so what have i what did i order yeah so i'm going to show you um some bits of skincare first so i did a little order on 
does it look fantastic or feel unique? I keep getting mixed up. Basically, I'm going to leave these products down below so you can go and shop them anyway. Um, but yeah, I did a little... Does it look fantastic? <laughs> I can't remember which one it was. did a little order because um, I really wanted to try this um, Clinique Take the Day Off Balm for so long. And I'm going to film a whole like updated skincare routine really soon. But I have been using this for the last few days and I can say... Well, I actually love it. So it's like a balm and it basically melts off your makeup and you just take like a little bit on your finger. You don't need much at all and you just do it on a dry skin and it literally melts your makeup off like, oh my God, I can actually see why this is so raved about now because it's really good. Um, so I use this as my first cleanse and I double cleanse with Lizelle afterwards. So yeah, I picked up this and I'm so glad I got it. Like it's so worth the money, makes my skin feel insane. So that was the first thing I picked up. And then I really needed a new toner because I've not had a toner in my skincare routine for a long time now. I think the last one I had was a Clarins one, which is, I love Clarins toners, they're so good. But I saw that Ren have a new toner out and Ren is just the most amazing makeup brand. Like their, what is it, glycolic mask? It might be a glycolic, I can't remember, that they do is literally the only mask I've ever used that shows me like proper significant results i'll link that down below as well um but it's actually amazing so i know their skincare is so so good so i picked up their new clarifying toner it smells amazing like it smells so fresh and um it does have acids in it and from my experience acids are really good for most people's skin but from my experience sometimes they do break me out so i'm just hoping that this one is all right i've really got on with ren products before so hopefully this is okay but i've been using this the last few days and my skin has been looking really glowy and good so yes i would say i really recommend this as well i'm gonna leave it leave, leave it linked down below for you guys and um, but yeah this is the ren toner Second delivery I got was from um, Fermu. I finally got some new glasses. I used to actually work with Fermu ages ago and I used to get gifted ones, but they broke. And so I just ordered myself some more because I actually love Fermu so much. Like it's so, so cheap, it's ridiculous. So I ordered myself some more. I love this style, it's so, so cute. So I got those. And then the most exciting delivery, which I am so excited to show you, basically my, um, step grandma i don't really call i don't call her step grandma because i think that just sounds a bit weird um but yes she has this little underwear brand some of you guys might have already seen it on my instagram so they're like so bad um oh that's a little bit better she has um an underwear brand that she sells on etsy and literally the most beautiful underwear you've ever seen so she sent me some um bless her for like a little present and Oh my god, you guys are just going to die. She makes them all bespoke. It's all 100% um, silk. And it's honestly like it's what you would get on like ASOS and pay like so much money for. So this is the first bra. I'm going to show you like in a different lighting in a minute because the pink colour is not showing up on here. But the pink in real life is the most gorgeous colour. So yeah, she's made me this little... Um, I'm going to show you properly in a minute. But she's made me this gorgeous little bra so so cute i love it so much and then these little silk um shorts to go with them absolutely adorable all 100 percent silk and she made me this gorgeous little scrunchie as well so i'm gonna show you better in a in a better light um in a sec can you see how beautiful that is so i'm gonna leave all her um details her etsy and her instagram link down below it's actually like i can't believe how gorgeous this is and the silk shorts as well just amazing like I can't explain how amazing the material is and then this is a little scrunchie so please make sure you go and give her a little check out um and maybe order some things if you want um message her for like a specific design that you want and I'm sure she can make it for you because she does them all bespoke she makes each piece for each person personally so now I'm gonna make me and Jordan some yummy pasta basically I want to make like a really fresh pasta sauce with basil and um like i've got like some prosciutto ham to put on top so yeah very excited for that i'm gonna go make it now and i'll show you how i make it
it's not the morning at all. I don't know what I'm on about. Um, it's literally probably about one o'clock, two o'clock. It's probably two or three o'clock. <laughs> My glasses always reflect in the light. It's so annoying. Um, I finally got new glasses. I'm buzzing. I'm literally so blind and I've done the whole of isolation with no glasses. Not that I really needed to see anything, but... It's really annoying when I'm walking around the supermarkets and I'm like squinting at each like food to see what it is. So yeah, finally got new glasses from Fermo. I've literally just been filming a new in Miss no, uh, Zara and um, Urban Outfitters haul, which I'm so excited to post. I'll show you a little quick sneak peek. Um, yeah, I'm in love. I just love this outfit so much. Um, and we went on a lovely walk this morning, which was so nice. I'm absolutely loving going on walks this morning. Um, going on, what am I about? I'm absolutely loving going on walks in general. Like I was saying to Jordan earlier, I just feel like lockdown has made me appreciate the little things in life so much more. This morning I posted this very cute little Instagram. Um, I'm just loving like nature pictures more on my Instagram. I feel like they're just so much more natural and not a stage, like I'm trying to do a few less more staged Instagrams if that makes sense, just like natural ones instead of being a posy bitch um, yeah I'm liking my Instagram at the moment, did a little cute Zara picture um, this, this is an ad that I posted last night for Braun got a little car pic, face masks so yeah if you want to go for my Instagram it's at Ames Banks. I'm really nearly at 12k and it's really annoying me <laughs> that I'm not getting there. The Instagram algorithm has actually been so dodgy recently. Like, and my posts were getting a lot of views. They were getting, like, they were doing really well engagement-wise last week. The last few days, it's suddenly gone shocking. Like, annoying. Like, I just don't know what Instagram does sometimes to make the algorithm go so bizarre. Like, me, Charlotte and Ellie last night... We all posted the same ad because we're all on the same management. All, we were all saying they've just done so badly compared to our normal posts. And it must be because it's an ad and it's just so frustrating because like, if a brand is seeing that, that our ads aren't doing well, they're not going to want to work with us again. But it's like kind of not our fault because Instagram doesn't show our followers our posts if it's an ad sometimes. It's just it's honestly infuriating. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And Instagram is a weird and wonderful world. Um, so the time is half two to be accurate and um, Jordan's gone to get new tyres on his car and we've not had lunch yet so I might make my usual prawn salad thing for when he gets back um, and I've just been munching on these um, M&S nachos, they're really really yummy and tonight we're having Chinese but we're not ordering it, we just got everything from Tesco, like if I've learned one thing in lockdown it is that you don't need to order in takeaway because the shops do it and it's so much cheaper and it's just as nice, like we got duck wraps two packs of duck wraps and a whole like selection box which I'll show you later and it costs £6 whereas you usually spend so much at a Chinese takeaway and then I also picked up some um like garlic dip like the Domino's one so again I'm gonna have pizza from Lidl one night but I will have the dip and it just yeah I'm all about saving little bits of money now guys I've, I think lockdown has taught me quite a few lessons so yeah but anyway beside the point I need to clean up the room from doing this haul and then yeah probably make some lunch cup of um just builders tea with almond milk and i've got the rest of my percy pigs that i bought yesterday and we're just watching dead to me season two it's definitely nowhere near as good as um the first season but we're about halfway through this um second season and it's, it is getting a lot better so i would say if you've only watched the first two episodes of this and you think it's pretty dead carry on with it because it gets quite gripping like halfway through um so yeah we're doing that it is half four, so the day's gone by, and I'm just buzzing for this Chinese. I've just been waiting all day until we can have this Chinese, but I don't like eating takeaway kind of food until a bit later, so it feels more like, I don't know, I prefer eating it like later in the evening rather than having it like late afternoon, so yeah, we're going to wait till tonight and watch last night's SAS as well. <laughs> It smells so good. Mm. Oh my god, they look so cute. Little parcel. <laughs> so cute. 